Hey guys, this is Mrs. Foy, and this is a quick little screencast on how to make a graph using a spreadsheet. Okay, so for your assignment for graphing periodic trends, you need to make two different graphs. One is going to be um, the element at or atomic number versus atomic radius, which is how big the atom is. And the other one is going to be the element or atomic number versus something called ionization energy. And ionization energy is the energy needed to pull off a valence electron. And in this case, it's just one, pull off a um, valence electron and create an ion. So if you have a high ionization energy, that means it's really hard to pull that electron off. And if you have a low ionization energy, that means it's easy to pull it off, okay? And obviously atomic radius is size. So this is super easy. So when you get this uh, periodic trend spreadsheet, what you're gonna do is you are going to um, just highlight, not the names, okay? but highlight the element symbol and the um, atomic radius column. So you're gonna highlight that all the way down. Oops. So click and drag and highlight all that all the way down. It's being slow, okay? And then you're gonna go over here and this little button right here, you're gonna insert chart. And it's just going to make this chart for you. Okay. And I actually, um, I did this on purpose with the spreadsheet because I wanted you to be able to see the element symbols because you're going to be um, asked some questions about the trend going across a period, which is a row. And it's also going to ask you about families or groups of elements, which are the columns, okay? So you know that at atomic radius versus element is not a good title, right? So you're going to click over here with these three dots, and you're going to say um, edit chart, and then you're going to click on customize, and it allows you to uh, name your chart. And the um, you can see that the... Uh, uh, the axes are already labeled, okay? And so then you're gonna take a, uh, a screenshot. Of course, you're gonna make a title, okay? If you, if you do not make a title, um, your teachers will take off points for that. And then you're gonna go over here into your lab and you're going to insert that picture right in the spot where it's, um, there's room for it, okay? So you're gonna insert your picture there and then uh, you can adjust the size accordingly, okay? And then there's some questions for you to answer um, that you'll do, okay? So that is what I have for you. You're gonna do the same thing with ionization energy. You're just gonna highlight uh, those, those, two, um, those two columns in your spreadsheet. And I guess there's one other thing I should show you real quick on the lab. The third trend is going to be electronegativity. And you do not have to create a graph for electronegativity. If you just click on this link, it's gonna take you to a graph of electronegativity. And electronegativity is the um, amount of energy that one atom has when it's trying to take another atom's electrons, okay? So it's the amount of pull that one atom has on another atom's electrons, all right? So then you'll just answer the questions based on this graph. And with this one, you see it just has atomic number. So it doesn't have the symbols for you. So you're gonna have to look at a periodic table to be able to um, answer the questions, all right? So hopefully that's been helpful.